What's up, guys? Welcome to Unplugged with Tyler Winters and John Pierman. We're both here. I came across Reddit a couple weeks ago. I can't find the post, but I remember the question posed was, what's one song that you'd be okay with never hearing again? Mm. And I thought that would be interesting to talk about. However, I wanted to maybe switch it up and pick which band you'd be okay with never hearing again. That could be mean, I guess, but maybe we could do both. Uh, I have not prepared for this, John, and if you want, we could just do this at a later date. But I'd rather do song. Okay, well, we could talk about song. I'll tell you right now, for band, though, can you guess what band I would pick? To never hear from again? To never hear from again? Yeah, it'd be Weezer. Huh, never hear again band. So instead of the, you know, fuck, Mary kill, this is just the kill portion. Fucking Eagles for sure. Oh, you're, I'm talking, let's talk scene bands. Oh, it's gotta be a scene band that I don't hear ever again? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. You could throw grunge in there too if you want, like. I could, I could not hear Simple Plan. You'd be fine with never hearing Simple Plan again? Okay. Well, they can't be perfect. I hear it very often, but. Um, God from Grunge Era. There's some Alice in Chains songs I don't need to hear ever again. I feel like all Alice in Chains songs could go for me. Um, I could not hear like Alive by Pearl Jam ever again. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with the song. It's just don't need to hear it. It's a fun little intro to play on guitar. Yeah. Easy, but it's fun. I've really grown to like uh, from that era. It's like I think Stone Temple Pilots is probably like the best band of them. Dude, I swear. Stone Temple Pilots has been growing on me over the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. I have them on my playlist, like rock playlist, but I always skip over them. But lately I've been listening to them and I don't. Yeah. Somebody posted the fair, the fair show that they played that I was at. So somebody had the audio. What year was that? 94. Okay. My sister, I remember went to go see them with my dad and I bet he took her to that one. Yeah. So. Meat puppets and somebody else. Gotcha. Meat puppets. Yeah. That'd be cool. Scott Weiland's fucking in his prime, so I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, those first two records, there's not really a bad song on either one. That's really weird that you say that, though, because I, I have been listening to more Stone Temple Pilots lately. Well, we listen to a lot of uh, Lithium on the Road, so uh, you okay. get Stone Temple Pilots like once every 45 minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, they're going to say 45 seconds. I was still going to agree. No, it just rotates fucking Stone Temple Pilots, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Austin Chains. Then it puts Sublime on. Oh, I could never hear fucking Sublime again and be okay. <laughs> and they're kind of back in a way with uh, one dudes, of the guys' uh, kids, kids yeah. leading front in that band now. I mean, I never liked that band anyway. I think they're the, one of the most overrated bands. Yeah, just I don't, I don't get it. I'd agree. I do like what I got. I mean, I like the top two singles that they've had, but. Everything else, I just don't, I don't like ska music. Just, I think that's all it oh, is. It's not even, it's like fake white reggae kind of like. I get you. I, I get they you. might not even be white. I don't know. But <laughs> the people that like them are. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. Uh, Dude, I, I agree. I agree. I just feel like anybody who likes the blind, like they have to, you smell probably a little bit. <laughs> like you sweat more than normal people. Yeah. Uh huh. A lot of a lot of tank tops. Yeah, bo flowing. It, Sublime makes me think of those those mirrors you would win at like a carnival game with bands on them. Remember uh, that? Yeah. Where yeah. That was like a carnival prize. Uh huh. That's Sublime to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. For me, definitely Weezer comes to the top. Oh, and when it comes to the song, Buddy Holly, I'd be okay with never hearing that. But again, it's a Weezer song. But Um, I'd listen to Undone Sweater Song right now. Right now? Dude, I just... I do... I just don't get Weezer. I I don't. I don't. I respect them. It's okay. I respect that they've done their thing in the scene for so long. Obviously, there has to be talent there. I just don't think Wivers Cuomo's a great singer. Like, I don't... We can go a Beatles song that you never want to hear again. I have one. I mean, easily, but... What's that? The Yellow Submarine. Oh, God, yeah. That's just terrible. I don't understand how that song even got so popular. Like, people actually liked it, or was it like a joke song? 
it, it was for real. It was, it was real. a single, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It's or like it was a B side, I think. It was, you know, Yellow Submarine to me is like when I heard Kesha's TikTok song for the first time. I remember hearing that song on the radio. I'm like, well, this is a long, funny ad, and it just kept going. I'm like, hold on, this is a real song, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yellow Submarine just sounds like a, an outtake. That should never have happened. I think it's the A side and uh, Eleanor Rigby was the B side. Mm. Eleanor is, Rigby's a great tune. Yeah, it's just all Paul. It's all right. Yeah, I've never been a Yellow Submarine fan. Oh, man. What's, Even as like a little kid, it annoyed me. What's one Blink song that you'd like to never hear again? Mine's all the small things. Get that shit out of here. I respect it completely, but... Talk about overplayed. Jeez. God, it'd have to be one of the singles, but... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe First Date? Yeah. First Date's a little overrated. I always thought it was kind of corny. I'm in between First Date and Rock Show, because they're both kind of corny to me. Ooh, but I love Rock Show. That guitar riff, so good. I like the guitar riff in First Date better. I'm surprised you didn't pick all the small things. There's no, nothing... I respect it as what it is. So yeah. I don't listen to it, but I respect it sure. for being a great pop song. Um, Green Day song. This is going to mm. come off of Dookie, I imagine, for you. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, I don't want to influence your... I would say Long View. Really? Of the three, yeah. For Green Day song, it'd have to be Wake Me Up When September Ends. Oh, shit. Yeah, it would be something off American Idiot for me. Never mind. <laughs> well, go ahead. And, what would what song would you uh, choose from that? Oh, fucking Holiday. I put the <sighs> shit out of that too. I love Holiday. I was just doing a Peloton workout the other day, a pop punk one, and Holiday came on, and man, it. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, is that one? I don't is like that, that one. Yeah, well, I think so. Um, What's the one that talks about Truman? I don't know. I'm not big on the lyrics of that. I think it's Holiday. I like Holiday. I like the music. What's another good band? Rolling Stones? Satisfaction? Don't need to hear it. Yeah, I'm okay. That one could go. What about Aerosmith? Got one there? Dream On? No, I like Dream On. Dude looks like a lady. (laughs) No. <laughs> how, do, how does when that song kid, go today? When I was a kid, I used to hear Janie's Got a Gun like multiple times daily. I remember, oh, God, that's this fucking song. That I oh, you know playing. what it is. It's I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. No. I'd be okay with not hearing that one. It's a great song. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. oh, well, I'm looking at the top 10. I think I would be fine with uh, this top 10 on Spotify. They've got Dream On, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, Walk This Way, Sweet Emotion, Crazy, Crying, Walk This Way, Dude Looks Like a Lady, Amazing, Angel, and Jaded. I'd be okay with not hearing Jaded. That was that, uh, when did that come out? I feel like that was like either, that was like late 90s. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah, that song could go. I'm not huge into Leonard Skinner. Free Bird, I'm going to say it. I don't think that's a great song. Freebird? I don't. I don't think it's as great as everybody. Tuesday's Gone's uh, the best one of the bunch, if you ask me. But I'd have to hear it. It's at the end of Happy Gilmore. Ooh, I actually just saw Happy Gilmore not too long ago, and I still don't remember. Probably didn't see. And uh, at the end of the um, Moon Tower Party and Days and Confused, they're probably Tuesday's mm. Gone as well. Mm. What about Alanis Morissette? Party at the Moon Tower. What's an Alanis Morissette song that you could? Uh, ironic. Ironic. I knew it. <laughs> Was I thinking of? Oh, uh, ooh, I got one. Paradise, Paradise City. Oh, dude, I love Paradise City. Good for you. <laughs> what about um, My Chemical Romance? What's one song of theirs that you could say, "Fuck off and die"? Uh, oh, probably I'm not okay. I don't need to hear that ever again. I'm gonna pick the Black Parade. Get that shit out of here. Mm. Fat lip. Really? I mean, it's I old. It and, every... I mean, I. I guess I'd be okay with not hearing it again. I've heard it enough. Not Good that I hate it. it or anything. There's some other ones, I'm sure. Good God, Weezer, though. Pretty Fly for a White Guy. Don't ever have to hear that again. <laughs> that song, yeah. I, I'd agree. 
I did love it when it came out, though. Dude, do you actually like Weezer, though? Like, you'd be like, oh, let's put on I mean, I the Blue to Album. I don't like, monthly or anything like that. But, yeah, I threw the Blue Album on because it just had an anniversary. Really? A couple weeks ago, yeah. It just, to me, it's just so boring. Boring music. It's so bland. That's one band that I don't understand all the hype for. I just don't get it. Now, I will say Hash Pipe and Islands in the Sun are good songs, though. Mm-hmm. Well, you probably like the great album. That, yeah. Those are those are my faves. Was were they on that that album? Okay, I probably would. The album that, after that, you probably like too. Because <clears throat> all that stuff came out when we were, you know, what's the Weezer song with the Muppet music learning video? How to play that our was music. good one too. Uh, I think that's in the same era. I know it's the album after. I think Weezer Muppets. Now Islands in the Sun. I feel like that complements Rivers Cuomo's voice really well. If he could have just oh, stayed in that era. Beverly Hills. That's the one I wouldn't want to hear. Ugh. Yeah. We found it. Uh, Keep Fishing is the song I'm thinking. Keep Fishing. Huh. Yeah, off Maladroit. I'd probably know it if I heard it. All right. Any other bands, though, that you wouldn't want to hear? This has been kind of fun. Yeah. Weezer's good. Uh, no, Weezer's not good. Oh, a band? Like a whole band? That like I a whole band. Like I picked Weezer. For sure. Oh, Puddle Nickelback. of Mud? That's easy. Puddle of Mud. Yeah. Stained. Oh, yeah. I mean, all that butt rock. <laughs> but scene band. Scene band. What would you say goodbye to? I Really just Simple Plan is the only one that comes oh, to Oh, yeah. Mind. You did say Simple Plan. I forgot. I can respect that answer. It's been raping my ears. <laughs> Wait, Simple Plan? No, my oh. headphones are hurting my ears. Oh. <laughs> raping your ears but yeah guys let us know on the socials what song and which band you'd be okay with never hearing from again that's it for this episode it was a quick one hope you enjoyed it we'll be back next week maybe peace maybe peace (laughs)